Hi. Today I want to discuss about polymers. These are referred as macromolecules. The word polymer is coined from two Greek words. Poly. Poly mean many. Mer meaning part or unit. The polymers term is defined as very large molecules having high molecular mass that is 10 power 3 to 10 power 7 unified mass which are formed by joining repeating structural units on a large scale it means monomers are combined to form a large molecule is called polymer these repeating structural units are derived from some simple and reactive molecules known as monomers monomer meaning what is a smaller units which are combined to form a large molecule that is called polymer and the repeating unit is called monomer and these monomers are linked to each other by covalent bonds. This process of formation of polymer from respective monomer is called polymerization. Example, this is ethene. Ethene n time repeat and undergo polymerization. This is a repeating unit. It form polythene, that polymer. Second one example is hexamethylene diamine n times and adipic acid n time undergo polymerization and it form nylon 6 6. This 6 indicating here 6 carbon from hexamethylene and 6 carbon here 4 plus 1 and 1 total 6 that is from adipic acid that indicating nylon 66 nylon meaning generally amide bonds classification of polymers classification of polymer classification is based on the source the first one is natural polymers these polymers are found in plants and animals examples are proteins Proteins are polypeptide chain, polypeptide chain. These are generally having more than a hundred amino acid combined to form a polypeptide chain that are called generally proteins. Cellulose is one of the carbohydrate. It is a made of beta D glucose. Beta D plus glucose. Next, starch. Starch is formed with alpha D plus glucose and some resins and rubbers. Natural rubber is one of the example that is made up of with the a monomer that is called isoprin. Second one is semi synthetic polymers. Synthetic derivative of natural polymers. Example cellulose derivative as cellulose acetate that is called rayon. Another one is the cellulose nitrate. Some example for semi synthetic polymers. Next third one synthetic polymers these are man-made polymers or synthetic polymers a variety of synthetic polymers as plastic that is called polyethene synthetic fibers called nylon 66 and synthetic rubbers are called buna s and buna n rubber are example for man-made polymers extensively used in daily life as well as as in industry classification based on the structure of polymers the first one is linear polymer these polymers consist of a long and straight chains 
example this is a long and straight chain these are linear polymers these example are high density polyethylene simply it is known as hdp high density polyethylene this is called polyvinyl chloride that is called pvc without branch that is called unbranched or linear straight chain polymers these are also known as a linear polymer high density polyethylenes are generally crystalline form next second one branched poly uh, branched chain polymers these polymers contain linear chain having some branches example low density polyethylene that is represented like this this is a linear polymer this is also linear polymer these are having small branches so these branches due to that then volume increases therefore density will be decreased therefore these are called low density polyethylene simply it is called ldp low density polyethylene next cross linked polymers are network polymers these are usually formed from bi functional group it mean two functional group any one may be hydroxy or carboxyl group amine group like this tri functional group it mean more than two that is any one like hydroxy aldehyde like this strong covalent bond between various linear polymers chain example bakelite malamine etc so this can be represented as this is a a linear polymer this is also a linear polymer this is also a linear polymer in between this we have the cross linking due to this cross linking this is look like a network type therefore also known as a network polymers like it is a volleyball net type therefore this is cross linked polymer examples are bakelite malamine classification based on mode of polymerization polymers can also be classified on the basis of mode of polymerization based into two subgroups first one addition polymerization the addition polymers are formed by the repeated addition of monomer molecule possessing double bond or triple bond so those are having multiple bond generally example for addition polymers so double bonded or triple bonded compounds are example for addition polymer those undergo addition polymers example formation of polythene from ethene polypropene from propene example ch2 double bond ch2 this ethene n time and undergo addition polymerization form ch2 single bond ch2 this is called polyethene similarly polypropene ch2 double bond ch ch3 this is a propene n time undergo polymerization this will form one of the poly ch ch3 form polypropene compound the addition polymers formed by the polymerization of single monomeric species are known as homo polymer homo polymer meaning what is that polymer formed by the single monomer unit it mean there is no other monomer participate only one type of monomer unit participate into the polymerization and form a polymer that is called homo polymer then the polymer made by addition polymerization from two different monomers are termed as a copolymer here homo polymer example already given ethene to polythene here copolymer example buna s and buna n rubber so this can be explained based on one example 
this is one three buta diene this one three buta diene why it is called one three buta diene mean this is a one this is a two this is a three this is a fourth position we have one position double bond third position double bond therefore it is according to the new nomenclature buta one three diene and this is styrene styrene is a iupc accepted name and common name also this undergo polymerization and gives a buna s rubber this is also known as sbr styrene butadiene rubber here two different monomer unit participated in the polymerization process therefore it is called copolymers second one is condensation polymers the condensation polymers are formed by repeated condensation reaction between two different bifunctional or trifunctional monomeric units in this polymerization reaction the elimination of small molecules such as water this smaller h2o molecule alcohol roh hydrogen chloride sometime ammonia like this molecules will be eliminated the examples are terylene that is also known as a dacron nylon 66 nylon 6 etc for example terylene is formed by the condensation of thalic as a terephthalic acid with ethylene glycol this is given by equation ethylene glycol this is the ethylene glycol iupac name ethane 1 2 diol terephthalic acid iupac name benzene 1 4 dicarboxylic acid these two undergo condensation and eliminate the smaller molecule that is water molecule eliminate here here <coughs> h and here oh water molecule eliminate here h eliminate with the other molecule and here oh eliminate with the terephthalic acid and totally n time water molecule last therefore this is known as a condensation polymer and also copolymer generally condensation polymers are known as a step growth polymers and addition polymers are known as chain growth polymers remember addition polymers are chain growth and condensation polymers are step growth polymers the next one classification is classification based on the in uh, molecular forces or intermolecular forces a large number of polymer application in different fields depend on their unique mechanical properties like tensile strength elasticity toughness etc these mechanical properties are governed by intermolecular forces example van der waal forces hydrogen bonds present in the polymer these forces also bind the polymer chain under this category the polymers are classified into the following four subgroups on the basis of magnitude of intermolecular forces present in them. First one, the first one is known as the elastomers. Elastomers meaning what is their elastic nature contain compounds. These are rubbers like solids with elastic properties. In these elastomeric polymers, the polymer chain are held together by weakest intermolecular forces. Generally, which one weakest intermolecular forces? Van der Waal forces. Van der Waal. VW. Sorry, VDW is called Van der Waal forces. Next, these weak binding forces permit the polymer to be stretched. Take one rubber and stretch. It's 
length will be double when you remove the forces again it retain its length as it is so a few cross linkings are introduced in between the chain which helps the polymer to retract to its original position after the force releases as in vulcanized rubber vulcanized rubber is raw rubber heated with the sulfur at certain temperature that is called vulcanized rubber its mechanical property improved again i will discuss later the example for this elastomers bunyas and bunyan and neoprene these are synthetic rubbers natural rubber is mechanical property somewhat poor therefore after vulcanization its mechanical property improved so this is natural and these are synthetic polymers synthetic elastomers or rubbers next fibers fibers are thread forming solid which possesses high tensile strength so these are not easily break and high modulus these characteristics can be attributed to the strong intermolecular forces like hydrogen bonding generally hydrogen bond formed between the hydrogen and more electronegative atom that is oxygen nitrogen fluorine these are form hydrogen bond with which one hydrogen next the these strong forces also lead to close packing ch chains and thus import the crystalline structure elastomers are amorphous and fibers are crystalline in nature these examples are polyamide polyamides are generally nylons so nylon 66 polyester polyester another name is a, example is a terylene another name is a dacron next thermosetting polymers thermosetting polymers are linear or slightly branched long chain these are slightly branched long chain molecule capable of repeatedly soft softening on heating and hardening on cooling take the thermoplastic polymer on heating it will be softened and on cooling it will be hardened these polymer possesses <clears throat> intermolecular forces of attraction intermediate between elastomers and fibers so not very strong not very weak these are intermediate between the elastomers and and fibers some examples are thermoplastics examples are polyethylene polystyrene and polyvinyl these are the example for thermoplastic polymers next thermosetting polymers thermosetting polymers are generally example for cross linked polymer these polymers are cross linked or heavily branched molecule which on heating undergo extensive cross linking in mold and again become infusible these cannot be reused but thermoplastics can be reused but thermosetting cannot be reused for example electrical switches on heating it becomes uh, <clears throat> liquid type again we cannot be convert into the as same switch therefore it cannot be reusable some common examples are bakelite urea formaldehyde resin etc thank you